exciting game. I expected, or we expected, a tough game because uh, the Gibbon is our team is not a pushover. Very solid, physically very, very, very strong, technically also. So they uh, give us a run for our money. By the end of the day, we were able to get those two goals to cancel it, and then uh, we're very satisfied with the performance. Uh, but most credit will go to the players for executing what we told them to do. Nine points at the bank. Thank you. A lot of people felt or thought that Nigeria is not good enough to win a tournament. Um, simple reason, because of our performance in the past few months. But again, it's the same sample of players who performed brilliantly well uh, prior to the, um, the AFCOM last one in Egypt and also the World Cup in Russia. But all of a sudden, things didn't go where it's supposed to, to go. But for, for some reason, uh, that's why people are trying to write Nigeria off. From the first game, nobody gave us a chance. We came and we did the job collectively. Again, I will not stop praising the players because um, I told them to express themselves, be committed. You don't have any other country to play for. It's only Nigeria. And we know how passionate our people are when it comes to football. And then that game was gone. We had to put it behind us and then focus on the next game. For it to beat Sudan, put it behind us and then focus on the next game. Now, people are thinking and start to respect Nigeria. But that does not mean we get into our head. We will always respect our opponent. We will play them with full strength. We will play them the way we play against anybody. Because if you see today's game, like I said before, Guinea-Bissau is a very, very strong team. There are no pushovers at all. Yeah, going to the next uh, round of 16, we don't know the opponent yet. Hopefully, we'll find out tonight or tomorrow. Same approach, same system, same aggression. And we're going to train more on penalties. Football is uh, a profession, and when you choose to do a job, you have to do it to maximum um, mind. You know, you put in your best because that's what puts food on the table. And coming to a national team also, you know, is an added advantage. It's always a privilege. It's not a right. So when you have a chance to represent your country, you have to do it. You have to because we have a whole lot of talented football players out there who are looking for the opportunity. So opportunity comes your way. Do not let it slip. I think that's the only, the only difference. It's just attitude, a little bit of style of play also. Give freedom to players to move, but, but provided we're not out of shape. Once we're in shape, feel very free to go play any position on the field of play. So any player who couldn't play more than one position cannot play for us. So that's, that's, what, that's what we're trying to do. And Omar Sadiq, yes. Um, I kept talking to him because he's a player who has played for Roma. Now he's in Spain. He's covering goals. And the first two games he came in, couldn't really find his feet for whatever reason. I think because he's, he's um, just coming to a big tournament, maybe it was too big. But however, I think he's performed well. And we just wanted to start him today to see how he react, not to come in. And I think he did very well as well, sir. We had to give some players some rest. It was necessary. And to now see the ones that I haven't played at all, to see how they can fare when it comes to a competitive game and, of course, a massive tournament like this. You know, Nigerian football, I say Nigerian football, African football has really improved because I, I saw a whole lot of things and the non bonus is a pushover. And um, to, to feel belonged as well, as, you know, we qualify with six points, but we still have a job to do, but give an opportunity because anyone that is called upon in this team to play, will always perform. So bringing them in was not a problem at all. You know, uh, first 15 minutes, we were all over there. And that was when I even took the jacket off. Because um, I actually don't want to put the jacket on. I thought it was going to be cold. But it was actually a bit hot. So it just had to do with weather. That's why I took it off. No tension at all. There is no way we're not going to give going to draw credit because he's, uh, he's the one who put his team together. And the only additions, I think, we still have about inherited a team of about 98% of the team get put together. So there's no way we're going to leave Ganero out of this. He did a good job assembling these boys, but it's quite unfortunate what has happened. And if we win the African Cup of Nations, it's to everyone, not just me alone. It depends on what you mean with the perfect super egos. We have to beat Team 6 nil before you say we're perfect. I don't know. I mean, it's a tournament. Three points is more important than, than winning with a wide margin. And mind you, it's a tournament, and everybody's come here to fight. Um, if you watch the game very well today, 
Guinea-Bissau didn't come close to our goal in the first 15 minutes. We were all over them. I understand you because I think you want to see us blowing up team with 6-0. Maybe it will come. Maybe it will not. But just pray that we win every game. It's 1-0. It's enough.